This is a public information statement. A potentially historic severe weather outbreak, possibly being as deadly or deadlier than the 2011 super outbreak, is expected across the central parts of the Appalachian Mountain Range this evening. The National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma has put southern Pennsylvania, all of Maryland, northern Virginia, and eastern West Virginia under the very first extreme risk of severe weather. Major cities placed in this risk are Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Richmond, Annapolis, Morgantown, Hagerstown, Alexandra, and Frederick. All types of severe weather are expected due to these storms, forecasted to be fast-moving supercells. Hazard in the extreme risk area include wind gusts up to 110 miles per hour, extremely large hail up to grapefruit size, extreme flash flooding and many extremely violent and long track tornadoes. Residents in these areas should go over your severe weather plan and stay up to date on the latest watches and warnings from your local National Weather Service forecast office and take action if a warning is issued for your area. In addition, the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center has put the rest of Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia as well as all of Delaware under a high risk for severe weather. Hazard in this risk area include 95 miles per hour wind gusts, extremely large hail up to softball size, flash flooding, and multiple tornadoes and possible strong and long tracked. Major cities placed in this risk includes Philadelphia, Norfolk, Dover, Erie, Scranton, and Roanoke. Residents in these areas should go over your severe weather plan and stay up to date on the latest watches and warnings from your local National Weather Service forecast office and take action if a warning is issued for your area. From the Pittsburgh Forecast Office, the forecast for Pittsburgh and the surrounding area, today thunderstorms mainly in the evening, some thunderstorms may produce damaging winds and large hail, highs in the mid-80s, east winds 5 to 10 miles per hour with some gusts up to 30 miles per hour, chance of rain near 100%. Tonight thunderstorms until midnight then showers after midnight, lows in the upper 60s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour with some gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Chance of rain 95%. Wednesday cloudy highs in the mid 70s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour with some gusts up to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 65%. Wednesday night partly cloudy. Lows in the mid 60s. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday sunny. Highs in the mid 60s. East winds 5 miles per hour, chance of rain 10%. Thursday night, partly cloudy, east winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, chance of rain 25%. Friday sunny highs in the lower 90s, east winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, chance of rain 0%. Friday night clear, lows in the mid 60s, east winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, chance of rain 0%. This is your weather radio station KIH 35 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, operating on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. Programming originates from the National Weather Service forecast in Moon Township, Pennsylvania. You're listening to Pittsburgh Weather Radio and here are your 5 p.m. observations from around the region. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 314, which is in effect until 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This watch includes the following states, all of Maryland, all of Delaware, southern Pennsylvania, northern Virginia, and eastern West Virginia. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Numerous tornadoes, most being significant or intense, are expected across the watch area. An outbreak of violent or extremely violent tornadoes is likely as well, especially in southern Pennsylvania, all of Maryland and Delaware, an unprecedented and historic severe weather outbreak likely rivaling that of the 2011 super outbreak will likely unfold, due to these storms forecasted to be supercell thunderstorms, these storms will produce all types of severe weather, including destructive tornadoes, wind gusts up to 110 miles per hour extreme flash flooding and hail up to grapefruit sized. 
A tornado watch especially of this magnitude means that a significant tornado outbreak is likely across the watch area and will continue for several hours. Everyone in the watch area should prepare for a violent and potentially historic day of severe weather. Stay tuned to the latest information on this potentially life-threatening situation. This is KIH 35 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for the following counties in Ohio, Trumbull County in Western Ohio, Mahoning County in Western Ohio, Columbiana County in Western Ohio, Carroll County in Western Ohio, Jefferson County in Western Ohio, and Harrison County in Western Ohio, in Pennsylvania, Allegheny County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, Washington County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, Green County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, Beaver County in Western Pennsylvania, Lawrence County in Western Pennsylvania, Butler County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, Armstrong County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, Westmoreland County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, Indiana County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, Fayette County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, and Somerset County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, until 1.23 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.23 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a line of severe thunderstorms was located 5 miles north of Youngstown to 2 miles south of Carrollton, moving southeast at 25 miles per hour. Hazards, 70 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding and trees. Locations impacted include Pittsburgh, Mount Lebanon, Bethel Park, South Park, Castle Shannon, Columbiana, Steubenville, Washington, Cannonsburg, Monroeville, West Mifflin, Newcastle, East Liverpool, Elwood City, Bethlehem, Beaver Falls, Bell Vernon, McDonald, Brownsville, Monongahela, Waynesbrug, Uniontown and Somerset. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Repeating a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 1.23 a.m. for the following counties, in Ohio, Trumbull, Mahoning, Jefferson, Carroll, Harrison, and Columbiana, in Pennsylvania, Allegheny, Washington, Green, Beaver, Lawrence, Butler, Armstrong, Indiana, Westmoreland, Fayette and Somerset. Calls him the MVP so far the season, having a great offensive year. Yeah, when you look at the stats, it's a fair point. And Max bringing the power, always the patience. He's had some monster seasons with LA. 2019, 35 homers, 98 runs driven in. And takes the 0 1 2 out pitch. And that'll get cleaned up and sit down the side. One left. The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh has issued a tornado warning for the following counties in Ohio. Columbiana County in Eastern Ohio, and Mahoning County in Eastern Ohio, in Pennsylvania, Lawrence County in Western Pennsylvania, Beaver County in Western Pennsylvania, and Northwest Allegheny County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, until 6.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado over Columbiana moving southeast at 35 miles per hour. Locations in the path of this severe storm include East Palestine, Midland, Beaver Falls, Calcutta, Elmwood City, Darlington, 
Aliquanta, Arm Bridge, and Cranberry Township. The safest place to be during a tornado is in a basement. Get under a workbench or other piece of sturdy furniture. If no basement is available, seek shelter on the lowest floor of the building in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Use blankets or pillows to protect your body and always stay away from windows. If you are in a mobile home or a vehicle, evacuate it and get inside a substantial shelter. If no shelter is available, lie down in the nearest ditch or other low spot and protect your head with your hands. Repeating a tornado warning has been issued until 6.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Ohio, Columbiana and Mahoning and in Pennsylvania, Lawrence, Beaver and Northwest Allegheny counties. The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania has issued a tornado warning for the following counties, Northern Washington County in Southwest Pennsylvania, and Southern Allegheny County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, train weather spotters and National Weather Service Doppler radar were tracking a large and destructive tornado three minutes west of downtown McMurray. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. At 5.36 p.m. it was estimated that this tornado is over two miles wide and has also caused catastrophic damage along with injuries and fatalities along its path. This is a tornado emergency for the warned area. Take cover now. The tornado will be near McMurray now, Bethel Park around 5.40 p.m., Castle Shannon around 5.55 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornado thunderstorm include Upper St. Clair, Mount Lebanon, and South Park Township. To repeat a large and deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life take cover now, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. To report severe weather contact your nearest law enforcement agency and they will relay your report to the National Weather Service in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania has issued a tornado warning for the following counties, Northern Washington County in Southwest Pennsylvania, and Southern Allegheny County in Southwestern Pennsylvania, until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, at 5.30 Flash Flood Emergency for Allegheny County The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania has issued a flash flood warning for Allegheny County in southwestern Pennsylvania until 9.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, law enforcement reported several water rescues throughout Allegheny County. Widespread rainfall of 3 to 5 inches with local amount up to 2 feet have occurred in the Pittsburgh metro. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Flash flooding is occurring. This is a flash flood emergency for Allegheny County. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Seek higher ground now. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding, heavy rain producing flash flooding. Source, law enforcement, impact this is a life-threatening situation. Seek higher ground now. Life-threatening flash flooding of low water crossings, small creeks and streams, urban areas, Highways, streets, and underpasses, locations impacted by the storm includes Pittsburgh, Mount Lebanon, Bethel Park, Bridgeville, 
West Mifflin, South Park, Penn Hills, Imperial, Homestead, Meccasport, Ross Township, Wexford, Plum, Upper St. Clair, Castle Shannon, and Carnegie. Protection yourself from immediate threats to life and safety shall take priority. Whenever possible as long as it does not cause greater harm all COVID-19 protective action guidance should be followed. Move to higher ground now. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to drive through flooded roadways. Flash flood emergency for Allegheny County. The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania has issued a flash flood warning for Allegheny County in southwestern Pennsylvania until 9.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, law enforcement reported several water rescues throughout Allegheny County. Widespread rainfall of 3 to 5 inches with local amount up to 2 feet have occurred in the Pittsburgh metro. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Flash flooding is occurring. This is a flash flood emergency for Allegheny County. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Seek higher ground now. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding, heavy rain producing flash flooding. Source, law enforcement, impact this is a Large tornado on the ground in Fair Oaks. This is a tornado emergency for Allegheny County. The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania has issued a tornado warning for Allegheny County in southwestern Pennsylvania until 7.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.52 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Armbridge moving southeast at 40 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for the Pittsburgh metropolitan area. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado, source, emergency management reported multi-vortex tornado crossing Arm Bridge Avenue, impact you are in a life-threatening situation, flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter, mobile homes will be destroyed, considerable damage to homes, businesses and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Pittsburgh, Penn Hills, Mount Lebanon, Bethel Park, West Mifflin, Sewickley, Coriopolis, Ross Township, M. Keys Rocks, Homestead, Monroeville, McKeesport, Plum, Kennedy Township, Leedsdale, Edgeworth, Bell Acres, Sewickley Hills, Sewickley Heights, Glen Osborne, Moon Township, Shows Township, Green Tree, Mount Oliver, Dormont, and Bellevue. To repeat a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now, move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building, avoid windows and outside walls, if you are in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Motorists should not take shelter under highway overpasses. If you cannot safely drive away from the tornado, as a last resort, either park your vehicle and stay put or abandon your vehicle and lie down in a low-lying area and protect yourself from flying debris. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take our immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Allegheny. Let's go to Jack Harrison of the Bellevue Police Department, who is just arriving on the scene. Jack, Tom, what's the it's damage? Bad. It's so bad. I have never seen anything like this in my life. The tornado came through about four minutes ago, and there are still large chunks of concrete and steel falling from the sky. Oh God, that is definitely not what we wanted to hear. We are unable to get a visual out there so can you describe it for us? 
That's about all I can say right now. I'm currently sheltering in my vehicle because it's still too dangerous to venture outside. Once I can move from this spot, I will tell you everything I can. Jack, are first responders able to partake in search and rescue efforts at this time? I'm afraid not. The street in front of me has been scoured, and there are massive piles of rubble blocking the road. Our inability to make it to ground zero is making the situation Jack, all the Jack, more deadly. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have an urgent message to pass along. Bill, what's coming through the wire? Tom, this is a tornado emergency for all of Allegheny County, and I'm seeing words that I have never seen before in a warning bulletin. The National Weather Service is calling this a potential mass casualty situation. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe it's happening. This might be the worst case scenario based on what I've been hearing recently. The National Weather Service is advising everyone in the Pittsburgh metropolitan area and surrounding areas to go underground, and those with no underground shelter need to relocate to one immediately. I'm also getting several reports that above level safe rooms have been heavily damaged or destroyed. Are you kidding this me? This is not good. Downtown Pittsburgh is right in the path of this thing. I have never heard of such a thing in my life. They're right, this might be a mass casualty situation. Sirens are going off in downtown Pittsburgh. Do we have anything from Jack Harrison? We do? Okay, let's patch him in. Jack, this is oh my Tom God. Callahan. Tom. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Tom. This is absolutely horrifying. I can barely describe this complete. I can't even call this destruction. This is apocalyptic. What are you seeing right now? There is absolutely nothing left. Plumbing and cables have been completely ripped from the ground. Foundations have been scoured. Safe rooms have been completely obliterated. Oh dear In Lord. between what's left of the infrastructure all I can see is a vast expensive mump. It's as if the city was dug up and laid to waste. Do we have any information on casualties yet? I'm still searching as we speak. It's not looking good. I'll call you back later. Okay Jack. Stay safe out there, and let us know oh when new God. developments arise. Tom, Tom, look at this. This is the last shot our sky cam in Brighton Heights got before it was knocked offline. This was about three minutes oh ago. Oh my God. Oh my God. Folks, it doesn't get any worse than this. Everyone in Pittsburgh and surrounding areas needs to take shelter now. Again, this is what the sky cam in Brighton Heights caught for split second while we are on the phone with Jack Harrison a few minutes ago. This thing is... I can't even describe it. Actually, I'm going to ask all non-essential personnel to head to the basement right now. I'd say this is less than five minutes away. Chateau, East Allegheny, the Strip District, Mount Washington, North Shore and Uptown. Everyone take cover immediately. This is a tornado emergency for the entirety of the Pittsburgh Metroplex. Oh my god, look at that debris ball. The storm to the south of it is actually caught in the inflow jet and look at the high reflectivity in the inflow. That's not precipitation, that's debris. There is so much to debris that Doppler 4 think it's hail or heavy rain. Everything about this storm spells disaster for everyone in its path. Remember what Jack told us. An infrastructure has been dug up and safe rooms have been destroyed. There is no time to evacuate. Everyone in downtown Pittsburgh needs to shelter in their present location now. If there is no underground shelter nearby, your best bet is to shelter on the lowest floor in a centralized room of a study building. We're moving downstairs. Everyone get to the basement right now. Folks, do you everything in your power to protect your life. Let's go. Let's go. Three. Hit the deck. for the Pittsburgh metropolitan area. This is a potential mass casualty situation. The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania has issued a tornado warning for Allegheny County in southwestern Pennsylvania, western Westmoreland County in southwestern Pennsylvania, extreme northern Fayette County in southwestern Pennsylvania, and extreme western Somerset County in southwestern Pennsylvania until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. 
At 6.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Brighton Heights, moving southeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for the entire Pittsburgh metropolitan area. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado, source, law enforcement and public confirmed wedge tornado with catastrophic damage and fatalities in Bellevue. Impact, this is a life-threatening situation. You could be killed if not underground or in a tornado shelter. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be ripped to shreds. Homes and businesses will be completely swept from their foundation. Trees will be uprooted or snapped. Debris will block most roadways. Complete destruction of entire towns is likely making the area unrecognizable to survivors. Locations impact include Downtown Pittsburgh, Mount Oliver, Brentwood, Clarendon, Elizabeth, Pleasant Hills, Jefferson Hills, White Oak, West Mifflin, McKeesport, West Newton and Mawson. To repeat a large, extremely violent and deadly tornado is on the ground to protect your life. Take cover now. Move to any underground shelter you can find. If no underground shelter is available, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building or if time allows relocate to an underground shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Mobile homes and outbuildings will offer no protection from this violent tornado. Repeating a tornado warning has been issued for the following counties, Allegheny, Westmoreland, Fayette and Somerset. Tornado emergency for the Pittsburgh metropolitan area. This is a potential mass casualty situation. The National Weather Service in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania has issued a tornado warning for Allegheny County in southwestern Pennsylvania, western Westmoreland County in southwestern Pennsylvania, extreme northern Fayette County in southwestern Pennsylvania, and extreme western Somerset County in southwestern Pennsylvania until 8 p.m. Eastern. This NOAA weather radio station is currently off the air. Please tune in to other stations to get the latest weather information. Or visit weather.governor. This NOAA weather radio station is currently off the air. The National Weather Service in State College, Pennsylvania has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Bedford County in Southern Pennsylvania, Fulton County in Southern Pennsylvania, Franklin County in Southern Pennsylvania, Western Adams County in Southern Pennsylvania, Blair County in South Central Pennsylvania, and Huntingdon County in South Central Pennsylvania until 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 7.13 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a line of severe thunderstorms were located along a line from one mile north of Altoona to three miles south of Bedford, moving southeast at 28 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 mile per hour wind gusts and ping pong ball sized hail, source, radar indicated threat, impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected, expects wind damage to roofs, siding and trees, locations impacted include, Altoona, Bedford, Duncansville, Martinsburg, Breezewood, McConnellsburg, Dot, Bucks Valley, Mercersburg, Greencastle and Chambersburg. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. A tornado watch still remains in effect until 5 a.m. for southern Pennsylvania. Repeating a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, Bedford, Blair, Huntington, Fulton, Adams, and Franklin. miles per hour hazard 70 mile per hour wind gusts and ping pong ball sized hail source radar indicated threat impact 
Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding and trees. Locations impacted include Altoona, Bedford, Duncansville, Martinsburg, Breezewood, McConnellsburg. Dot. The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a tornado warning for southern Franklin County in southern Pennsylvania and Washington County in northern Maryland until 8.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 7.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight-line wind damage were located along a line extending from near Mercersburg to near Clear Spring, moving southeast at 25 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation, hazard, tornado and 110 mile per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated rotation, has a history of producing violent tornadoes, impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter, mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed, damage to roofs, windows and vehicles will occur, tree damage is likely, locations impacted include, Green Castle, Waynesboro, Hales, Hagerstown, Wilson Kanakoheek, Robin Wood, Halfway, Funkstown, St. James, Smithsburg and Mount Atina. Take cover now, move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building, avoid windows, if you are outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 123, effective until 1 a.m. This watch includes the following counties in Maryland, Frederick, Carroll, Montgomery, Baltimore, the city of Baltimore, Howard, Prince George, Harford, Anne Arundel, Charles, Kent, Sackley, Queen Anne's, Talbot, Caroline, Dorchester, Somerset, Worcester, and Wicomico, in Delaware, Newcastle, Sussex, and Kent, in Virginia, Frederick, Winchester, Shenandoah, Page, Rockingham, Harrisonburg, Warren, Clark, Loudoun, Prince William, Rappahannock, Culper, Stratford, Fauquier, Fredericksburg, King George, Manassas, Manassas Park, Spotsylvania, Falls Church, Fairfax, Alexandria, and Arlington, in Pennsylvania, York, Lancaster, Delaware, Philadelphia, and Chester, as well as the District of Columbia, and the following marine locations, coastal waters from Woodland Beach to Ocean City out 20 nautical miles. Remember a severe thunderstorm watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather including large hail and damaging wind gusts in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons would remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to no weather radios, commercial radios and television outlets or internet sources for the latest weather information.
evacuation hazard tornado and 110 mile per hour wind gusts source radar indicated rotation has a history of producing violent tornadoes impact flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed damage to roofs windows and vehicles will occur tree damage is likely locations impacted include green castle waynesboro hales hagerstown wilson kanako heek robin wood halfway funkstown st james smithsburg and mount atina take cover now move to a basement or an interior room The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a tornado warning for Eastern Washington County in West Central Maryland until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 7.32 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed tornado was located over the intersection between Maryland State Route 56 and 68 or about 3 miles southwest of Wilson Kanakachi moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado and baseball size hail. Source. Law enforcement confirmed tornado, impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Hagerstown, Wilson Kanakachig, Williamsport, Halfway, and St. James. This tornado warning replaces the severe thunderstorm warning issued earlier for the same area. To repeat a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a study building. Avoid windows, if outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle. Move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. for downtown Hagerstown, the National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a tornado warning for Eastern Washington County in West Central Maryland and Western Frederick County in Central Maryland until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 7.44 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, local law enforcement and the National Weather Service were tracking a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado on the ground over the intersection between Maryland State Route 63 and National Pike moving steadily east. This line of tornadic thunderstorms is also capable of producing 110 miles per hour wind gust and extensive hail damage. These storms were located along a line extending from near Fairview to near Williamsport moving east at 65 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for downtown Hagerstown in eastern Washington County. Take cover now. In addition, at 7.42 p.m., this large tornado was reported to be causing extreme damage to the town of Wilson, Kanakachi. When it passed through the area, debris was seen be being picked up and lifted several thousand feet in the air due to the immense strength of this tornado. 
deadly lightning is being emitted from these thunderstorms causing more havoc and fires in the area as well. This is a tornado emergency. Act now to protect your life. These tornadic thunderstorms along with the tornado will be near halfway around 7.47 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, downtown Hagerstown around 7.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Robinwood around 7.56 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Cave Town around 8.03 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and Thurmont around 8.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This is a tornado emergency. Act now to protect your life. A large tornado has been confirmed. The safest place to be during a tornado is in a basement. Get under a workbench or other piece of study furniture. If no basement is available, seek shelter in the lowest floor of a building in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body and always stay away from windows. If in mobile homes or vehicles, evacuate them and get inside a substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. If no shelter is available, lie flat in the nearest ditch or other low spot and cover your head with your hands. The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Frederick County in Central Maryland, Carroll County in Central Maryland, Baltimore County in East Central Maryland, Baltimore City in East Central Maryland, Howard County in Central Maryland, Montgomery County in Central Maryland, Northwestern Anne Arundel County in East Central Maryland, and Northwest Prince George County in Central Maryland, until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 8.07 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Tannetown to near Frederick, moving southeast at 35 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Hazard, 85 mile per hour wind gusts and tennis ball size hail. Source, radar indicated threat. Impact hail damage to vehicles is expected. Wind damage to roofs, siding and trees. Locations impacted include Baltimore, Dundalk, Bowie, Columbia, Towson, Odenton, Westminster, Eldersburg, Baltimore Washington International Airport, and Pasadena. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. If you see wind damage, hail damage or flooding wait until the storm has passed then call the National Weather Service toll free at 571-888-3500 or tweet us your report at NWS Malt Wash. The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a flash flood warning for Northwestern Howard County in Central Maryland, Southern Carroll County in Central Maryland, and Southwestern Baltimore County in East Central Maryland until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 8.14 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated very heavy rain from a thunderstorm one mile west of Eldersburg. This storm was moving east at 50 miles per hour. Locations in the path of the storm include Eldersburg, Lisbon, West Friendship, and Owens Mills. Doppler radar and trained weather spotters estimate that two to four inches of rain has fallen from this storm within the last 10 minutes. Excessive runoff from this storm will cause flash flooding of small creeks and streams, highways and overpasses, additionally country roads and farmlands along the banks of creeks and streams, and other low-lying areas are subject to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle into areas where water covers the road. 
turn around, don't drown, to repeat a flash flood warning has been issued until 9 p.m. for the following counties, Baltimore, Carroll, and Howard. The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a tornado warning for Howard County in Central Maryland until 8.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 8.21 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This storm was located near Lisbon, or about 18 miles west of Ellicott City, moving east at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. In addition, at Linden Grove, a rotating wall cloud was reported by trained weather spotters at 8.21 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time with this storm. This storm has a history of producing baseball-sized hail. Locations in the path of this tornadic thunderstorm include Ellicott City, Columbia, West Friendship, Woodmark, Glenwood, Dayton, Hanover, and Woodstock. Take cover now, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building, avoid windows, if you are in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The severe thunderstorm warning for Frederick County has been canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning is canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect until 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time for all of Maryland. The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for tornado emergency for Ellicott City. A tornado warning remains in effect until 8.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for Howard County. At 8.34 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Albeth Heights or nine miles west of Ellicott City, moving east at 40 miles per hour. Tornado emergency for Ellicott City. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard deadly tornado. Source. Trained weather spotter confirmed tornado, impact. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Ellicott City, Elkridge, Hanover, and Patapsco Valley State Park. To repeat a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground, to protect your life, take cover now, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building, avoid windows, if you are in a mobile home, in a vehicle or outdoors move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris, a large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground, take immediate tornado precautions, this is an emergency situation. Repeating a tornado warning has been issued until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Baltimore.
tornado emergency. Large tornado on the ground near Catonsville. This is a tornado emergency for the warned area. The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a tornado warning for the city of Baltimore in East Central Maryland and Southern Baltimore County in East Central Maryland until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 8.47 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely destructive tornado has been located over the intersection between Interstate 70 and Interstate 695 moving east at 55 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for the Baltimore metropolitan area. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly and extremely destructive tornado. Source, emergency management reported a multi-void X tornado crossing Interstate 695. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be obliterated. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete obliteration is very possible. Locations impacted include Baltimore, Towson, Dundalk, Catonsville, Yorktown, Woodlawn, Hamden, Rosedale, Essex, Parkville, Inner Harbor, Cherry Hill, Morrill Park, Charles Village, Canton, Highland Town, Mondelman, Frankfurt, Sparrows Point, Edgemere, and Roland Park. To repeat a large, extremely destructive and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now, move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building, avoid windows, if you are in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris, motorists should not take shelter under highway overpasses, if you cannot safely drive away from the tornado as a last resort, either park your vehicle and stay put or abandon your vehicle and lie down in a low-lying area and protect yourself from flying debris, a large and extremely destructive tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions, this is an emergency situation. Repeating a tornado warning has been issued until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, Baltimore and the city of Baltimore. Large tornado on the ground near Catonsville. This is a tornado emergency for the warned area. The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a tornado warning for the city of Baltimore in East Central Maryland and Southern Baltimore County in East Central Maryland until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 8.47 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely destructive tornado has been located over the intersection between Interstate 70 and Interstate 695 moving east at 55 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for the Baltimore metropolitan area. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly and extremely destructive tornado. Source, emergency management reported a multi void X tornado crossing Interstate 695. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile home.
Extremely large and extremely violent tornado heading directly for the Annapolis metro area. This is an extreme tornado emergency for Annapolis. This is a mass casualty situation. The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a tornado warning for Anne Arundel County in East Central Maryland until 9.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 8.54 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed extremely large and extremely violent tornado was located over downtown Baltimore moving south at 65 miles per hour. This is an extreme tornado emergency for Annapolis. This is a mass casualty situation. Residents in the emergency area need to seek an underground shelter now. Hazard, an extremely large and extremely violent wedge tornado. Source, storm spotters and radar confirmed violent tornado approaching downtown Annapolis. Despite no damage reports, storm spotters have reported a large tornado exceeding 2.6 miles wide in diameter. Velocities are showing that this tornado has the possibility to destroy entire towns, with radar confirming winds in this tornado exceeding 330 miles per hour. Impact. This is a life or death situation. I repeat this is a life or death situation. You will face certain death if you are not underground. Most, if not all buildings in the path of this tornado will be swept off the face of the earth. Most, if not all above ground structures, vehicles and trees will be decimated beyond recognition. Roads and foundations will be scoured or shredded making travel impossible and making the area unrecognizable to survivors. Mass devastation is expected and complete destruction of a swath of homes is likely. Locations impacted by this extremely violent tornado includes Annapolis, Baltimore Washington International Airport, Ferndale, Naval Academy, Shadyside, Beverly Beach, Mayo, Parole, Crofton, Odenton, Tipton Airport, Fort Meade, Brooklyn Park, Southgate, Pasadena, Riverdale, Bristol, Riva, Arnold, and Edgewater. To repeat an extremely violent and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, seek an underground shelter now. Above ground structures will provide absolutely no shelter and you will be killed if you shelter above ground. If you are traveling in the warned area, especially in the emergency area, seek immediate shelter as this tornado has the capability to throw vehicles like toys possibly for miles. Do not attempt to outrun the tornado as you will likely stand no chance of surviving if you do so. Repeating an extremely large and extremely violent wedge tornado is heading straight for the Annapolis metro area. Do not delay. Seek an underground shelter now. Repeating a tornado warning has been issued until 9.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Anne Arundel. This is WJLA News, with a breaking story coming out of the city of Annapolis. An extremely large and extremely violent tornado that is exceeding 2.6 miles wide is heading for the city of Annapolis. And, oh my god, the National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has just issued a tornado emergency for the Annapolis metro area, and holy cow, they are calling this a mass casualty situation, and the wording in this alert is jaw-dropping to say the very least. This warning says that entire neighborhoods could be completely swept from their foundations. This is probably why the National Weather Service is relaying this as an extreme tornado emergency, the first such emergency to be issued. An extreme tornado emergency is only necessary when a likely EF5 is heading for a major population center, making a regular tornado emergency just like an old-fashioned tornado warning. And even worse, this tornado is moving southwest at 65 miles per hour, and this tornado could impact the District of Columbia. This is no joke, guys. We could have a possible EF5 tornado on our hands. Everyone in the city of Annapolis needs to get to an underground shelter now, as you will face certain death if you don't seek an underground shelter. Let's relay this warning now as this is extremely important to your safety.
Extremely large and extremely violent tornado heading directly for the Annapolis metro area. This is an extreme tornado emergency for Annapolis. This is a mass casualty situation. The National Weather Service in Baltimore, Washington has issued a tornado warning for Anne Arundel County in East Central Maryland until 9.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 8.54 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed extremely large and extremely violent tornado was located over downtown Baltimore moving south at 65 miles per hour. This is an extreme tornado emergency for Annapolis. This is a mass casualty situation. Residents in the emergency area need to seek an underground shelter now. Hazard, an extremely large and extremely violent wedge tornado. Source, storm spotters and radar confirmed violent tornado approaching downtown Annapolis. Despite no damage reports, storm spotters have reported a large tornado exceeding 2.6 miles wide in diameter. Velocities are showing that this tornado has the possibility to destroy entire towns, with radar confirming winds in this tornado exceeding 330 miles per hour. Impact. This is a life or death situation. I repeat, this is a life or death situation. You will face certain death if you are not underground. Most, if not all buildings in the path of this tornado will be swept off the face of the earth. Most, if not all above ground structures, vehicles and trees will be decimated beyond recognition. Roads and foundations will be scoured or shredded making travel impossible and making the area unrecognizable to survivors. Mass devastation is expected and complete destruction of a swath of homes is likely. Locations impacted by this extremely violent tornado includes Annapolis. Baltimore Washington International Airport, Ferndale, Naval Academy, Shadyside, Beverly Beach, Mayo, Parole, Crofton, Odenton, Tipton Airport, Fort Meade, Brooklyn Park, Southgate, Pasadena, Riverdale, Bristol, Riva, Arnold, and Edgewater. To repeat an extremely violent and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, seek an underground shelter now. Above ground structures will provide absolutely no shelter and you will be killed if you shelter above ground. If you are traveling in the warned area, especially in the emergency area, seek immediate shelter as this tornado has the capability to throw vehicles like toys possibly for miles. Do not attempt to outrun the tornado as you will likely stand no chance of surviving if you do so. Repeating an extremely large and extremely violent wedge tornado is heading straight for the Annapolis metro area. Do not delay. Seek an underground shelter now. Repeating a tornado warning has been issued until 9.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Anne Arundel. We are back after that alert. Like the National Weather Service said, this is a life or death situation, and I mean it, not seeking underground shelter will have dire consequences, most likely you being killed. Everyone in Annapolis needs to be in an underground shelter now. This is not a joke guys, this is a likely F5 or potentially, a higher tornado heading for Annapolis. This tornado might cause thousands even, tens of thousands of casualties according to the National Weather Service. Even though we are not in the immediate warning area, we will continue to broadcast important information to you as long as possible. And, holy shit, sorry for my language but the Storm Prediction Center is saying that everyone south and southwest of Anne Arundel County needs to prepare for this tornado. They are saying that everyone should get underground now. In addition they are saying to bring supplies such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, identification, and a battery-powered radio. We will get to an underground shelter if a tornado emergency is declared for Washington, D.C., and I have a feeling that the National Weather Service is expected to issue a tornado emergency for Washington, D.C. soon as this tornado is likely to cross the Anne Arundel-Prince George County line and continue to move southwest and strike the District of Columbia. Please stay tuned for the latest information on this extremely dangerous situation. We currently have a trained weather storm spotter tracking the storm, and he is on the phone with us now. Nathan, what do you see at the current moment? This has to be the worst tornado I have tracked in my now 34 years of being a storm chaser. This thing is an absolute monster. 
Sirens are currently going off in the city of Annapolis at this time, as this tornado is expected to strike the city any moment now. This thing is over three miles wide making it the widest tornado ever recorded on this planet. It is expected that the city of Annapolis is going to be absolutely obliterated, and it will be completely unrecognizable to survivors of this monster. I'm already seeing huge chunks of debris flying in the air and several planes from the Baltimore-Washington International Airport being lifted off the ground, like toys. I have a feeling that this tornado is not slowing down anytime soon. And it is very likely that this tornado will track over the inner Arundel Prince George County line and head directly for the District of Columbia. Due to this the National Weather Service in Sterling, Virginia will likely issue an extreme tornado emergency for Washington, D.C. If you're not in an underground shelter this is your last chance. Head to one immediately as this tornado is expected to sweep buildings clean off their foundations. Back over to you Tom. Thank you Nathan. We will be back after a station identification. Extremely large and extremely violent tornado over Bowie. This is an extreme tornado emergency from the District of Columbia and areas to the southwest. This is an extreme mass casualty situation. The National Weather Service in Sterling, Virginia has issued a tornado warning for the District of Columbia, Arlington County in northeastern Virginia, Alexander County in northeastern Virginia, and Fairfax County in northeastern Virginia until 10.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 9.09 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, an extremely large and extremely violent tornado tornado with a history of utter destruction in Annapolis, Maryland, was located over Bowie, moving southwest at 85 miles per hour. This is an extreme tornado emergency from the District of Columbia and the area southwest. This is an extreme mass casualty situation. Anyone in the emergency area needs to get underground now. Hazard, catastrophic and historical wedge tornado, source, multiple sources confirmed an extremely large and extremely violent tornado with unprecedented strength directly over Bowie, at 9.04 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time complete destruction of the city of Annapolis was reported as it suffered a direct hit, at 9.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time several homes, businesses, and even some apartment buildings have been completely destroyed, with some structures being completely swept from their foundations, some foundations, roads, power poles, and vehicles have been completely mangled, scoured and shredded beyond recognition. In addition, moderate ground scouring has been reported as underground shelters and basements have been heavily damaged. At 9.08 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time National Weather Service Doppler radar has indicated that this tornado is exceeding 3.8 miles wide in diameter and has velocities exceeding 360 miles per hour. This tornado has the capability to destroy everything in its path. Impact. This is an extremely dangerous and a life or death situation. You will be killed if you are not in an underground shelter. Above ground shelters will be completely destroyed beyond recognition. Underground shelters could be heavily damaged with the possibility of people being sucked out of those said shelters. Entire neighborhoods will be completely swept away from their foundations. Large chunks of debris will block all roadways making travel impossible. Roads and foundations will be completely scoured. Trees. Cars, street lights and power poles will, will be tossed around like toys. It is certain that the area will be completely unrecognizable to anyone lucky enough to survive. Locations impacted by this extremely violent wedge tornado include the District of Columbia, Arlington, Alexandria, Falls Church, Fairfax, and all areas 21 miles southwest of the District of Columbia. To repeat an extremely large and extremely violent and extremely deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, seek an underground shelter now. It is not certain that underground shelters are safe. I repeat, it is not certain that underground shelters are safe. Above ground shelters will stand absolutely no chance against this tornado. Anyone traveling in the warned area, especially in the emergency area, should seek immediate shelter, as this tornado has the strength to throw cars for miles. Do not attempt to outrun the tornado, as you will likely face certain death if you try. 
repeating an extremely large and extremely violent tornado is on the ground over Bowie, do not delay, take cover now. Repeating a tornado warning has been issued until 10.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, the District of Columbia, Arlington, Alexandra and Fairfax. Guys, we have breaking news coming out of Washington, D.C. An extremely large and extremely violent tornado is over Chiverly, and it's destroying everything in its path. A disturbing report out of the city of Bowie has stated that multiple homes, businesses and even some apartment complexes have been completely obliterated, and some buildings have been completely swept clean from their foundations, several power poles, vehicles, roads, Foundations and power lines have been completely mangled or scoured beyond recognition. A disturbing report has stated that some underground shelters have sustained considerable damage. The National Weather Service has stated that it has increased in size and is now 4.1 miles wide with winds exceeding 405 miles per hour. An extreme tornado emergency has just been issued for, for the District of Columbia, and the warning was similar in ways to the Annapolis emergency in that it was very shocking and dire. Guys, this is not a joke, a catastrophic and historic EF5 is over Chiverly right now, and destroying everything in its path. Everyone in Washington DC and area southwest needs to get underground or you will face certain death. Guys we have to get underground now. Let's go. Extremely large and extremely violent tornado over Bowie. This is an extreme tornado emergency for the District of Columbia and areas to the southwest. This is an extreme mass casualty situation. The National Weather Service in Sterling, Virginia has issued a tornado warning for the District of Columbia, Arlington County in northeastern Virginia, Alexandra County in northeastern Virginia, and Fairfax County in northeastern Virginia until 10.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 9.09 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time an extremely large and extremely violent tornado with a history of utter destruction in Annapolis, Maryland, was located over Bowie, moving southwest at 85 miles per hour. This is an extreme tornado emergency for the District of Columbia and the area southwest. This is an extreme mass casualty situation. Anyone in the emergency area needs to get underground now. Hazard, catastrophic and historical wedge tornado, source, multiple sources confirmed an extremely large and extremely violent tornado with unprecedented strength directly over Bowie. At 9.04 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, complete destruction of the city of Annapolis was reported as it suffered a direct hit. At 9.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, several homes, businesses, and even some apartment buildings have been completely destroyed, with some structures being completely swept from their foundations. Some foundations, roads, power poles, and vehicles have been completely mangled, scoured and shredded beyond recognition. In addition, moderate ground scouring has been reported as underground shelters and basements have been heavily damaged. At 9.08 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time National Weather Service Doppler radar has indicated that this tornado is exceeding 3.8 miles wide in diameter and has velocities exceeding 360 miles per hour. This tornado has the capability to destroy everything in its path. Impact. This is an extremely dangerous and a life or death situation. You will be killed if you are not in an underground shelter. Above ground shelters will be completely destroyed beyond recognition. Underground shelters could be heavily damaged with the possibility of people being sucked out of those said shelters. Entire neighborhoods will be completely swept away from their foundations. Large chunks of debris will block all roadways making travel impossible. Roads and foundations will be completely scoured. Trees, cars, street lights and power poles will, will be tossed around like toys. It is certain that the area will be completely unrecognizable to anyone lucky enough to survive. Locations impacted by this extremely violent wedge tornado include the District of Columbia, Arlington, Alexandria, Falls Church, Fairfax, and all areas 21 miles southwest of the District of Columbia. 
to repeat an extremely large and extremely violent and extremely deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, seek an underground shelter now. It is not certain that underground shelters are safe. I repeat it is not certain that underground shelters are safe. Above ground shelters will stand absolutely no chance against this tornado. Anyone traveling in the warned area, especially in the emergency area, should seek immediate shelter as this tornado has the strength to throw cars for miles. Do not attempt to outrun the tornado as you will likely face certain death if you try. Repeating an extremely large and extremely violent tornado is on the ground over Bowie. Do not delay. Take cover now. Repeating a tornado warning has been issued until 10.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties, the District of Columbia, Arlington, Alexandra and Fairfax. This is WXJ94 operating on a frequency of 162.550. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Newcastle County in northern Delaware, Kent County in central Delaware, and Sussex County in southern Delaware until 11.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 9.39 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Elton to near Cambridge moving east at 65 miles per hour. These are very dangerous storms. Expected hazards include 80 mile per hour wind gusts and baseball size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. This storm has a history of producing 80 mile per hour wind gusts and uprooting large trees. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged. Expects considerable damage to roofs, windows and vehicles. Extensive tree damage and power outages are likely. Locations impacted include Dover, Wilmington, Newcastle, Camden, Middletown, Milford, Georgetown, Seaford, and Smyrna. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. This is an extremely dangerous situation with tornado-like wind speeds expected. If you see hail damage, wind damage or flooding, wait until the storm has passed and then call the National Weather Service at 609-261-6600 or tweet us your report at NWS Mount Holly. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Newcastle County in northern Delaware, Kent County in central Delaware, and Sussex County in southern Delaware. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a tornado warning for northern Newcastle County in northern Delaware until 10.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 9.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Glasgow moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. There is also developing rotation over Sunset Lake Preservation, Hazard, Tornado, Source, Radar Indicated Rotation, Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Wilmington, Newcastle, Newark, Brookside, Northside, Hawkerson, Newport, Christiana, Ogletown, Ellesmere, and Claymont. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. 
Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Hazard, tornado. A tornado warning remains in effect until 10.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for northern Newcastle County in northern Delaware. At 9.53 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed tornado was located near Woodshead or near Brookside moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. This is confirmed via debris signature on radar. Hazard, large tornado, source, radar confirmed tornado, impact. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations in the path of this tornado includes Wilmington, Ogletown, Brookbend, Christiana, Stanton, Newport, Wilmington Airport, Wilmington Manor, Newcastle, Collins Park, Swanwick Gardens, Simmons Gardens, Linford, Ashley Heights, Alban Park, Woodward's Edition, Ellesmere, Landliff, Chelsea Estates, Edgemoor, Penny Hill, and Fairfax. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building, avoid windows, if you are outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. The following is a special marine weather statement from the National Weather A tornado warning remains in effect until 10.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for northern Newcastle County in northern Delaware. At 9.53 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed tornado was located near Woodshead or near Brookside moving northeast at 45 miles. Tornado emergency for the city of Wilmington. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a tornado warning for northern Newcastle County in northern Delaware until 10.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 9.59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar and trained weather spotters were tracking a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado near Stanton or near Albion. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for Wilmington. This is particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado, source, radar confirmed tornado, impact you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely, and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Wilmington, Linford, Stanton, Newport, Ellesmere, Woodward's Edition, Alban Park, Ashley Heights, Duncan Woods, Albertson, Woodland Park, Landliff, Edgemoor, Riverfront, Hilltop, Alapacus, Penny Hill, Fairfax, Grist Mill Woods, Fox Point State Park, and Bellevue State Park. To repeat a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building, avoid windows, if you are outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now.
The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Kent County in central Delaware and southwestern Newcastle County in northern Delaware until 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 10.21 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Blackiston or about six miles west of Smyrna moving east at 25 miles per hour. An additional tornado warning is in effect for three miles southwest of Kenton. Hazard tornado, source, radar indicated rotation, impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Smyrna, Clayton, Blackiston, Little Creek 100, and Blackbird. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a tornado warning for West Central Kent County in Central Delaware until 10.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 10.21 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Everett's Corner with another near Hartley moving east at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado, source, radar indicated rotation, impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Canton, Hartley, Seven Hickories, Persons Corner, and Cheswold. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. The forecast for Dover and the surrounding areas. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a tornado warning for Central Kent County in Central Delaware until 10.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 10.22 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Wyoming or about 5 miles southwest of Dover moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Another storm capable of producing a tornado was located near Felton moving northeast at 28 miles per hour. These storms have a history of producing several microbursts in Maryland, hazard, tornado, source, radar indicated rotation, impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Dover, Dover Air Force Base, Dover Base Housing, Rodney Village, Camden, Wyoming, Highland Acres, Rising Sun Lebanon, Little Creek, White House Landing, Felton, Riverview, North Murder Kill 100, Viola, Woodside, Woodside East, Magnolia, and Little Heaven. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now.
The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a tornado warning for East Central Kent County in Central Delaware until 11.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 10.23 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Viola or about 10 miles southwest of Dover moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, dangerous tornado, source, radar confirmed tornado, impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Damage to roofs, windows and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornado will be near Woodside, Woodside East around 10.26 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Wyoming, Camden, Dover Air Force Base. Dover Base is housing around 10.31 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Highland Acres, Rodney Village, Dover around 10.36 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations in the path of this tornadic thunderstorm includes Little Creek, Cheswold, and Leipzig. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a tornado warning for West Central Sussex County in Southern Delaware until 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 10.34 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Cannon or about 15 miles west of Georgetown moving east at 20 miles per hour. This storm has a history of producing microbursts with damage reported near Atlanta. Hazard. Tornado, source, radar indicated rotation, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter, mobile homes will be heavily damaged or destroyed, damage to roofs, windows and trees will occur, tree damage is likely, locations impacted include, Seaford, Bridgeville, Blades, Old Furnace, Concord, Middleford, and Wooded Acres. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a tornado warning for East Central Sussex County in Southern Delaware until 11.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 10.40 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed tornado was located near Flea Hill or about four miles southwest moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado and golf ball size hail. Source, radar confirmed tornado, impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Georgetown, Lewis, Long Neck, Milton, Millsboro, Dewey Beach, Rehoboth Beach, North Shores, Anderson's Corner, Harbison, Aspen Meadows, and West Coast Corner. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now.
civil danger for the following cities, Pittsburgh, Hagerstown, Baltimore, Annapolis, the District of Columbia, Bowie, Bethesda, Arlington, Alexandra, and Wilmington, the following messages being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the governors of Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, and Delaware have declared a state of emergency for the affected areas due to extremely violent tornadoes that struck these cities yesterday evening. President Joe Biden has declared the area's federal disaster areas and has instructed the United States military to aid state national guards and local emergency responders. The federal civilian workforce has been relocated to the Mount Weather Government facility in Virginia. U.S. military officials have been relocated to the Raven Rock Alternate Command site in Maryland. The following damage has occurred. Extreme devastation to utter decimation has occurred across these cities. The cities of Baltimore, Annapolis, Bowie, Bethesda, the District of Columbia, Arlington, and Alexandra have suffered apocalyptic devastation with the worst of the damage being in the downtown areas of these cities, which have been most disturbingly being completely swept away, with extensive ground and pavement scouring being reported in these cities too. Numerous neighborhoods in these cities have been completely and utterly decimated with no homes left standing, and a few slabs missing. Entire blocks of buildings especially in the District of Columbia and Annapolis have also been swept away with slabs missing in these areas. All of these cities have suffered direct hits and at the moment are completely impassable due to debris blocking all roads in these cities. Taller buildings have been completely obliterated beyond recognition and have collapsed in these cities. Mass casualties have been reported in these areas. Underground shelters, especially in the District of Columbia and Annapolis, have been completely destroyed, leaving people trapped in these said shelters. It is already believed that there are likely tens of thousands of casualties have been reported in these cities, and this number could skyrocket throughout the next hours. Due to the extreme devastation that has occurred it is advised people in the affected areas should stay home if you even have one. If you do not have a home or any shelter to go to head towards official shelters that have been marked by red banners, these buildings will be used as shelters indefinitely until the damage has been repaired. An official statement by the National Weather Service will be issued soon to determine the strength of these tornadoes and the official damage reports. Stay tuned for more information on this catastrophic situation. There are no tornado warnings for our viewing area, so Zoe I will throw it back to you until something comes up. Thank you Tom Callahan and all of Storm Team 4. Thank you for your in-depth coverage today. Now given our current situation here at WTAE4 details on damage and casualties have been very scarce. It has been about one hour since we have been able to establish a signal, but we are still awaiting at least an unofficial damage estimate and death toll. Okay, let's go back to WTAE News 4 correspondent Allison, who is in Bellevue. Do you have any new information for us? Zoe, this is horrible. I'm standing near what's left of the Briarcliff apartment complex just off of Bascom Avenue. We had a hard enough time getting here to begin with, but we eventually made it to the most disturbing site I have ever seen. There is absolutely nothing left here, not even human lives. This was an area that emergency personnel could not reach due to debris blocking the road. I hate to say that I have personally witnessed over a dozen casualties in this subdivision alone, and I fear that number is going to skyrocket in the next hour. Allison, as you may know we are not able to get a visual, can you describe the damage you are seeing? I don't think damage is the right word to describe this. This looks like the epicenter of a nuclear blast. It looks like this area was never developed, there is no road next to me, no sidewalk, no buildings, no foundations, just a big swath of dirt. Remember it took us a helicopter to get us here. Yes, that is true. Zoe, if you will excuse us a moment, we have a really important message to pass along. About 30 minutes ago, the president was briefed on this terrible disaster that has befallen the central Appalachian mountain range. And we have just received word that President Joe Biden will be addressing the nation shortly. So to quickly recap what we know at this point, there had been dozens of deaths in the metro area and that number is still rising. There is extreme destruction in the central Appalachian mountain range. And I will quote the sheriff of the Annapolis Police Department. 
He said this is not a rescue operation. This is a search and recovery effort because there is absolutely no way anyone can survive this that definitely shows that this is a catastrophic situation. Okay, we are now going to the president, Joe Biden. Please stand by. My fellow Americans, for those of you who have not heard, a tragedy of epic proportions has befallen the central Appalachian mountain range. Yesterday evening several extremely large and extremely violent tornadoes struck major cities in the central Appalachian mountain range. What emergency management has told me thus far is absolutely horrifying. I can't tell you how much it hurts to say this, but I have been told many neighborhoods and even entire towns have been reduced to nothing. According to local officials the death toll could be in the tens of thousands. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a time of mourning. Four major American cities are on their knees. The central Appalachian mountain range is a very important area to America's culture and economy, and they need us more than ever. New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston and all points in between. Let us come together and make the culture heart of the central Appalachian mountain range stronger than ever. I am a man of my word and I will make sure that everyone affected by yesterday's catastrophic events will receive the best from America's best. Thank you and may God bless America.